how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i will be showing you some amazing hidden features for your samsung galaxy device so if you own a samsung phone i'm sure you're going to learn something new and useful in this video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started first let me show you how to check the health of your battery on your samsung galaxy device if you own an iphone you can easily check your battery health by going to the settings, battery and then click on battery health. But did you know, even if you don't have an iPhone, you can still check the battery health on your Samsung device. All you have to do is simply go to settings, select battery and device care. Below you get this option that says diagnostics. Simply go inside and click on this battery status icon. Here you can actually see your battery health. If it is in good condition, then it shows the life as good. But if it states bad for you, unfortunately you have to change your phone's battery. Not only this, you can also test all other functions and see whether everything is working fine or not. This can be super useful when you are purchasing a second hand Samsung phone. You just need to go to battery and device and then select diagnostics. Here you can easily test all the functions individually by tapping its icon. A lot of you might already know how to create shortcuts on your phone. For example, if I long press on the camera icon, I can create a separate shortcut for video. So whenever I want to shoot videos, I just need to click on this shortcut and it starts recording video for me. Similarly, if I want to create a shortcut to access a particular album in my gallery, I can easily create that as well. Like this, you can create multiple shortcuts to access anything in just one click. But the problem is, you can only create these shortcuts on your home screen and you cannot access them from anywhere else. To fix this, what you can do is you can make use of the edge panels. So go to settings, display and activate edge panels on your device. Now go inside panels and enable this panel called task. Then select edit and here you get all the shortcuts you have created. What you have to do is you need to drag it down inside the edge panel. Once done, now you can easily access any of your shortcut by simply swiping from the edges of your screen. Even if you are using any application, let's say if I am in WhatsApp and I quickly want to access a particular album, I just have to open edge panel and click on the shortcut that I have created. I will recommend you to start creating shortcuts for accessing folders, albums or anything you want. Trust me, this saves you a lot of time. Guys, before I move on, if you love watching these kind of videos, then please do support this channel. We are very close to 200k subscribers. So if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. It would mean a lot to me. Whenever I want to do multitasking on my phone and when I open multiple apps in a split screen view, I still get the status bar on the top and below I have the navigation buttons which takes up a bit of my screen space. Now finally, Samsung has added a very useful feature in One UI 4.1 that lets you hide the status and the navigation bar when you are using the split screen window on your phone. To enable that feature, you need to go to Settings, Advanced Features and then go inside Labs. Here you get this brand new option that says Full Screen in Split Screen View. Just turn it on and that's it. Now whenever you open multiple apps in a split screen window, you can enjoy the full screen experience without the status bar and the navigation buttons. I really like this feature because it gives you some extra space to work on multiple applications at the same time. Now I have the Galaxy A53 with me and when I unlock this device, you can see there is no animation or transition effect and it straight away goes into my home screen. On the other hand, I have the Galaxy S22 Ultra and when I unlock my device, you see it has this beautiful transition which looks really really nice. To enable this transition effect when you unlock your Samsung phone, you need to go to the settings, biometrics and security and then select more biometric settings. Here you will see something called as show transition effect. If it is disabled for you, then simply go ahead and turn it on. That's it. Once done, now whenever you unlock your phone, you will have this beautiful transition which looks really nice. So that's it for this video. These are some amazing tips, tricks and hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy device. Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.